everybody, today I am going to be doing my Lush Oxford Street haul because I put in my last vlog if I should have haul and there was a few people that said they would like that. I have got my lovely Lush bag here and I love these bags. I think they're only sold, only, not sold, only given to you in the Lush Oxford Street one. They're like special one and they also give you these little bags which are different because normally in like Norwich Lush, they give you just plain black ones, but these ones are just so colourful and I just want to keep all the packets and everything, so that's probably what I'll do. Let's get on with what I have bought from Lush on Friday. So the first thing that I bought was something that I got for kind of my little sisters too, but sometimes me, and it's called Mermaid Fun. It says, sailors from across the seas have been tempted by shapes of sirens, soak up and soap in your own. And it says yellow plus pink plus turquoise equals mermaid and it shows you like something that you can make with it so it's more for kids in the bath I think but I thought it would be cool to have and also for my little sisters to just use whenever they wanted to as well. The next thing that I got is called the experimenter and I was very excited for this but it is very dusty oh, and it is very bright and it smells like Mm, a bit like a Yankee candle, but I can't think of what one. I can kind of smell fruit a little bit, mixed with cinnamon, I think. And this makes your bath very colourful, as you can guess. And it's just a lovely one. I picked this mostly for the colour, to be fair, because I love a good, bright, colourful bath. So that was one main reason I got that. The next thing that I bought from Lush is called Guardian of the Forest, and this is another bath bomb. And I bought this because of the colour too. And it is, uh, obviously as you can guess, Guardian of the Forest is going to have like green in. And it is a lovely green colour. And this smells like, it is borderline that you won't sneeze or cough or anything at it. This kind of smells a bit like nature kind of stuff, but... Oh, a bit dry <laughs> Kind of smells fresh as well. And this also turns your bath green, as you can guess. Uh, I'm not getting in the bag. It's not getting in the bag, and it's going to go all over my floor. Which is not good, because my mama will go cray cray. Ugh. The next thing I bought is another bath bomb. And this is called Golden Slumber. And obviously you can also guess what colour this is by the name, Golden Slumber gold and this one I just thought was really pretty because it's just like simple but really nice and it says lush on the top and it's just like uh, yellowy gold and it's sparkly and it obviously makes your bath go sparkly yellow oh I can't get that smell kind of I can smell like a cake I can smell like a vanilla cake vanilla cake mixed with a Yankee candle. Oh, there is a vanilla cupcake one. It kind of does smell like that, actually. I can't wait to do the, like, um, cutaways, I think they're called, because my fingers are going to be, like, bright gold. So keep an eye out for the gold fingers and the green fingers in there. And the next thing that I got is one of my favourite colourful things. And so in Norwich, they do a bath bomb called Granny Takes a Dip. And it makes, it's like pink, green, blue, purple, light blue. And it's like a circle and it like marbles in. And when you put it in the bath, it marbles out your whole bath. And I just saw this and freaked the hell out because I love that bath bomb. But there is also a bubble bar at the Oxford Street Lush. And the colour of this is just like amazing. It's literally like when you get Play-Doh when you're a kid and you mix all the colours up by accident. And it's just amazing. Oh, look, there's a green heart there and a green heart there. And this smells really sweet. I just got a whiff of um, the pink Quality Street, the one with the strawberry cream in the middle. That's definitely what it smells like. The strawberry Quality Street on roses. Cannot wait for my bath to smell and see what that does with the bubbles and the colour. Very, very excited to see what that does. My next buy is called Intergalactic and it is a bath bomb and Jesus it is so amazing I love this one so much 
this is intergalactic and it's light blue with lots of little whites, pinks, yellows, greens kind of things in it and it's sparkly and I cannot wait to use this in my bath because I've seen videos and I've seen pictures everywhere of what this does to your bath and it goes like a dark blue water but the top layer like goes all the colours and oh no I didn't like the smell of that just then but my nose is blocked so but it is nice so don't doubt me there it is a great bath bomb. Going to Oxford Street last just to get these is definitely worth it. Oh, and I think I'm on my last one. Oh, and it's a very lovely one. It is Frozen. Because how can I not get Frozen when I love Frozen? So. And if you ask my sister, I was singing Let It Go while I picked this up. And it is a lovely blue one. Oh, it just smells so fresh. Oh, I can't smell that good with a blocked nose. So you're just going to have to trust me that they smell nice. Because when I smelled them in the shop, I tested them and trust me, they were nice. I also got, uh, um, what is it? what was it called? I haven't got it anymore because I used it. Um, it was... The ah, bright side, I think, and it's gold, and it was reformed into a teardrop shape. And I've, me and my sister shared that, and we've used it. I didn't get it, but I'm getting it from Norwich. It's a face mask, and it's a blueberry one, and I thought I like lilac, and I was going to get that, but I'm going back to Norwich to get that. And I got a purple Play-Doh thing for my sisters. I'm going to leave now, and film the cutaways <laughs> quickly so if you enjoyed this lush Oxford Street haul make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know that I should go to lush again and do another haul because I'm pretty great at picking out the bath bombs and bubble bars I always pick the good ones and my sister always picks out the rubbish ones that just go boring so come to me if you want lush advice so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to see more of me and I will see you very very soon bye Money ain't nothing but money when you get to the money ain't nothing but money Love ain't nothing but love when you learn how to love ain't nothing but love Party ain't nothing but a party when you party every day it ain't nothing but a party Party, party. party. party.